All right, hello again, grade eight. Uh, this is our third mini lesson on multiplying fractions. Um, and so far we've learned that it's a little bit simpler than adding or subtracting fractions. There's just a few steps to follow. Um, so far we learned about multiplying a fraction by a fraction. And then we learned about taking a whole number and multiplying a whole number by a fraction. Today it gets a little bit um, more complicated in that we're going to look at mixed numbers. Mixed numbers, remember, are when we have a whole number like two along with a fraction. So two and a third is a mixed number. Um, it's basically the same steps, but all we need to know is there's one step that comes first, and that is we want to change that mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay, remember an improper fraction is just one that um, the numerator is bigger than the denominator, which means it's bigger than Okay, so um, in order to do that, we did that a few weeks ago, but we'll remind ourselves, if we want to change two and one third into a mixed number, there's a simple, simple steps to follow. What we do is we multiply the denominator by the whole number and then add the numerator. So we're going to go three times two is six plus one is seven and the denominator stays the same it's going to stay three because we haven't changed the size of the pizzas okay whatever we have whether it's two and one third left of a pizza the pizza is still cut into thirds so we can't change the size of that okay and four over five is already a fraction so it can stay like that okay so that's step one it's simply change the mixed number into an improper fraction. Remember that two and one third is equal to seven and or seven over three or seven thirds. Okay, and then the next step is exactly what we've been practicing, where we multiply the numerators and then we multiply the denominators. So I'm going to say it's seven times four over three times five. Seven times four is twenty-eight. And three times five is 15. Okay. Um, we then want to ask ourselves always for the last step, could we simplify our answer? Or in this case, we're looking at an improper fraction and we're gonna ask ourselves, could we switch that back to a mixed number? Or maybe if it worked out, it might even be a whole number. Mixed numbers and whole numbers are always nicer as final answers than an improper fraction. Um, so I don't see any way to simplify 28 over 15. Um, there's what goes into 15, 3, but 3 does not go into 28. 5 goes into 15, but it doesn't go into 28. And 15 itself does not go into 28 either. So what I'm going to do is, to me that's simplified, but I'm going to ask myself, what would it be as a mixed number? So I'm going to, I have to think about how many times does 15 go into 28 without going over it. It only goes in once, because if it went in twice, that would be 30. So 15 goes into 28 one time. That's our whole number. And the remainder, the difference between 15 and 28 is 13. So 13 is our numerator, and 15 remains our denominator. So our final answer for this question, two and one third times four fifths, ends up being one and 13 over 15. Okay, for this question I, I kept it kind of simple where we had one mixed number and one fraction, but if we had two mixed numbers it would be the same steps and we can do one like that all together so we can see what that looks like. It's the exact same steps, it's just a tiny bit longer or maybe more work. So we're going to take let's say one and one half, a mixed number, and we're gonna multiply it by another mixed number, which is three and three quarters. Okay, so remember step one is, first thing is make the mixed numbers into improper fractions. It's too complicated to multiply when they're a mixed number, it's very simple when they're a fraction. So we do two times one is two, plus one is three, we're still dealing with halves, so it, we, it's over two. One and one half is equal to three halves. 
And then we want to do 3 and 3 quarters into a fraction as well. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. And it's still three quarters. The denominator does not change. Now what we need to do is multiply. So we multiply our numerators. 3 times 15 is 45. And 2 times 4 is 8. So now I'm left with 45 over 8. Um, I am going to um, simply change this into a mixed number. So I'm going to ask myself, how many times does 8 go into 45? Well, I know that 8 times 5 is 40. And 8 times 6 is 48. So 6 would be too much. So 45 over 8. 8 goes in 5 times, and that would be 40. The difference between 40 and 45 is 5. That becomes my numerator, and the denominator stays the same. So our final answer is 5 and 5 eighths. And we, it's, it's as simple as it can go. There's nothing besides the number 1 that divides evenly into both 5 and 8. So we know that that is simplified. All right, good luck with your multiplying mixed numbers.